What's up YouTube? Bam and welcome to Wolf King's Vids. It's been my general experience when conversing with creationists. Uh, when, you, when you look at the universe they bring up this false dichotomy or dilemma. Um, it's either designed by an external invisible mind or it came about through random chance or accidents and they basically can't comprehend how something like purpose can arise through naturalistic processes. However, this is a straw man, as when you're talking from a rationalistic or scientific standpoint, no one is asserting uh, random chance or accidents. This is nothing more than a, than a straw man. What we're talking about is emergence, and emergence is the appearance of complexity arising from simple regularities. Now, to give a greater perspective on this, um, for example, you can look at the Conway's Game of Life, in which you have a grid or a dynamic system of simple cells moving about and interacting with each other. However, given time and variation, they can produce, uh, they can become divergent, they can branch out, they can, uh, they can produce uh, uh, symmetrical patterns, and ultimately complex structures. And with that understanding, it's reasonable to suggest something as old and vast as the universe can produce that with the laws of physics and billions of years. And, you know, this has been the case with the overall expansion and the production of stars, planets, galaxies, and life being the product of, you know, re regularities like the laws of physics and chemistry. For example, you can look at the biological organization of life and, you know, with the, uh, with the amino acids and the electrically charged isotopes and the atoms become cells, the cells become organisms and their growth and complexity is a matter of natural selection and random mutation, evolutionary biological processes, through the vastness of time producing something as elegant and complex as the biosphere, with humans, for example, being being sort of the dominant ones because our organs, for example, the brains have, have been subjective to environmental pressures in which they become more plastic in which we've applied them producing uh, producing tools and machines that have purpose because we ourselves have the ability to comprehend the external world around us but this is the understanding of how these things can come about I mean you could apply something uh, a model of predictive power ie the scientific method to something like an emergent universe the one we're living in and we can understand how these things can come about through time and variation this is the simpler explanation it doesn't violate Occam's razor now if you're talking about if you're talking about something like um, like a god for example or like an invisible mind you have to be willing to ask some tough questions you have to be willing to have your worldview scrutinized and you have to ask one of the fundamental questions of where did this entity come from and if you said it's always been here, then you might as well say the um, the potential for complexity in the universe has always been here. Because to do otherwise would be a violation of Occam's razor. So, basically, the the overall stand the overall criticism that has been that has been brought about by theists actually is reverted back because to make these far-reaching claims about how, how these things come about through through esoteric forms such as like a mind or a deity it, it's nothing more than scientific dead ends and ultimately God of the gaps hypotheses which have virtually no benefit to actually comprehending our place in the cosmos uh, but that's all I have to say about that this has been Wolf King peace out if you like this video you know what to do